So Ryan Tovim, I hope this message finds you well. Let's talk about a question that everybody asks on Pesach. Are you allowed to kasher your own barbecue grill for Pesach? Can you use it to cook, to have a braai, a barbecue with family, with friends? What if you go to a simmer and there's a grill there? What if you're in a state park? Can you use the grill that's in the park by the benches? Are you allowed to use these things on Pesach? Now, I remember growing up that this was a total no-no. Uh, there was a halachic digest that was put out by this very extreme rabbi, and he said you couldn't even use coals in a new grill uh, on Pesach because coals are used to filter whiskey and they have some starch in them. We don't paskin like this. Coals are nifsal lachilat kelev. No dog would even eat coals. So whatever chametz might be in them is irrelevant. And the answer is that you can, you can kasher your barbecue grill for Pesach. However, you have to know what to do. So what's the problem with the grill? The problem with the grill is two things. Number one, there could be some oil or schmutz or gook that was literally that has chametz in it. Sometimes some of the filler and hamburgers or you put rolls on the grill. Okay, and this gets absorbed into the, so there's actual gook, actual pieces of chametz. And then it could get, because the heat is so hot in the, in the grill, therefore the chametz can get absorbed into the walls of the grill. So there are two different problems, the actual food or residue, residual food, and what's absorbed into the walls. So how do we get rid of each of these two things? Number one, you have to clean the grill very well, okay? You have to clean the, uh, the grill itself, under the grill, on top of the grill, everything has to be cleaned. Uh, if your children have been sitting in front of Zoom for the last six months and need a break, you can get them to clean your grill for you. That's number one. This could be true of a charcoal grill or a gas grill. Everything needs to be cleaned. That's in terms of the re residue itself. What about what's absorbed in the walls or in the, the grill? So the answer is that you need to manage to get the grill to the same heat as it gets to when you cook, okay? This is a principle called kibolo kachpoto. The way that something gets absorbed, that's how you remove it. So you take the grill. Uh, you could always replace a grill, by the way. That's always an easy thing to do, but you could take the grill, you fill it up with charcoal, okay? And the charcoal's gotta be on top of the grill and under it. So you fill it up with briquettes and you heat up the briquettes for about an hour to the highest heat, till they're white, till they break down into dust. And that's how you kasher the grill itself. Uh, this is called libun gamur, getting it to like red hot to white hot uh, heat, which is equivalent to what you use to barbecue. Then for the top of the barbecue, the bottom of the barbecue, again, it also needs to be cleaned. You fill up the bottom with briquettes as well, and you uh, you light it for another hour, and this should be all you need. All that you need for this is uh, libun kal, which is, it has to heat, read a very, reach a very hot heat, uh, and uh, that's sufficient as well. So this is one option in terms of uh, kashering your grill. Uh, I would recommend you can definitely use this at home. However, if you're going to be going on a hike on a tiul and you get to a state park and there's a grill there, you're not going to have time to kasher and clean the grill properly. And it's be much dirtier and there could be crevices or cracks. That might not be such a great idea. The best thing in that situation, or if you're going to a simmer, you don't know what to expect, just buy a little hibachi grill. It costs 50 shekel, bring the coals, and this way you don't need to worry about kashering the grill, which is complicated. And you need to have the right materials and the right amount of time to do it properly. So you can kasher your grill. And if you're going to be at home over Pesach, by all means, you should do it and enjoy it for Simchat Achag. But if you're not going to be able to do it properly, best to just buy a cheap grill from the store. Keep it. You'll have it for Pesach. You could keep it for next Pesach or throw it out. Have some charcoal, have some coals, and enjoy a beautiful Chag and barbecue or bright with your family. Wishing you Chag Sameach. We'll, uh, we'll be sending you more Hilchot Pesach in the next few days. Kaltuf.